Hello YouTube and welcome to our new Unity 3D tutorial. So in this tutorial what we're going to do is, what we're thinking is our game currently has no progression like you can do the mission and it gives you coins fair play so that's 200 you can get. You could probably collect around 10 coins so that's 210 apologize for that, that's my ringtone. Um, there is no way to get any money so if we did put a shop in you, well you'd basically be screwed. You, I've limited and it's rubbish. So what we're going to do is when we shoot an enemy, like most games, well some games I know, you shoot them and when they're dead, money appears. So it'll be really really cool. It's All the code we already know is already there, it's just a case of putting it together. So we're going to implement that now. So what we're going to do is drag a coin out or find a coin. So in our prefabs we'll use that coin then. Coin, here. And we'll go in and we'll move it up. So, let's turn it to zero. As you can see, it's sideways. So, in order to make it spawn properly, what we're going to do is give it an empty game object. And we'll just say put it here. And we'll call this one um, coin. Yeah. And we'll grab our other coin and we'll call this coin model. And paste that into coin. But we need to copy the things off of here onto here. Not there. There. So e this is easily done by simply grabbing the object and dragging it on. Or it should have been. It was a while ago. There we go. So you drag the script and it moves it. Remove the box collider and we'll just do it ourselves. So the coin, it now has a script. Let's put the coin model in the middle of it. Let's take it out a minute and give it proper rotation. Yeah, it has proper rotation, so let's turn it to minus 90 again. So when it's actually in the coin, it's got zero, 00 rotation, it'll work perfect. Come in, and we'll give it a box collider. Ooh, that'll do. Yeah, in fact, now let's resize, it's got to be perfect. X, no, nope, I want what, Z. So point 0.3 should do. Perfect. So now we have a coin with a script attached. But what we're going to do is instead of calling it coin, because when it spawns, it's going to be called coin bracket clone. We could rename it, but that's just bother. So what we're going to do to make it far easier is we're going to drag our coin into the prefab and replace. But our coin, we're going to add a new tag to it. So we're going to add tag and we're going to call it, I don't know why that's done that. We're going to call a new tag money. Just like that. So when we sat, put money on it, it'll be perfect. So all these coins have all got the prefabs on, which is perfect. So they've all money. they're not called money yet. So let's drag this new one on. Boom. So now, instead of searching for name, we're going to search for money. Because there could be different types of money. You could want single coins. You could want single coins and stacks of coins. Tre treasure chests. So what we're going to do is we're going to find our collection script from our character. We're going to get rid of that coin because we've now got that there. Open our collection script. And in here, where it says coin, we're going to change this to gameobject.tag equals equals money. So all you have to do is rename the tag, name part, tag, whatever. So it works perfect. So if you collect it, we get 10 coins. Perfect. So if the tag equals money, which it does, um, there, give us money. These don't equal money. So let's just rename all these to money. Boom. Does it work now? Perfect, yeah. So they've all got tagged money. Now all we need to do is when we kill the character, it spawns it. I'm going to give you five seconds to try and think where the best place will be to put that. So when we kill the character, it spawns the money. Do you, want, do you get it yet? One, two, three, four, five. So the best place to pour it would be when we kill the character, so the enemy collision script. So we're going to click on the entity and open up enemy collisions. The reason this will be the best place is because instead of creating a new script, if enemy life equals zero spawn coin, we might as well just put it in here, if enemy life kill it. So it seems far easier. So what we're going to do is do it with one coin first, because I want it to randomise. So let's go randomise places all the way around the character, but the coins will always be there. So we're going to type var... Um, spawn coin and this will be hmm what to put it yeah equals inst instantiate instantiate then we put what we want to spawn so 
coin model is that we'll put coin object we'll have to create that in a minute and where do we want to spawn it so we'll uh, we'll try it at transform dot position so the character's position but what we're eventually going to do is make it randomize on the x and z axis so it's like in a five radius of the character so it like explode explodes kind of and we're going to type quaternion dot identity so let's create the coin object we'll just do it up here so var coin object um, game object that's it so we'll go in here and we'll in our search bar we'll type entity and entity so we'll select all our entities and we'll just drag a coin object onto all these entities and we'll do it for the entity prefabs as well these two here so we'll drag the coin prefab on just so whenever we spawn the ob spawn new characters they'll automatically have it on boom perfect so now if we try it it'll spawn one coin whenever we kill them and we should be able to collect it boom and it rotates so we collect it it's not a trigger so we can't why can't we collect it should it be a trigger is it a trigger I can't remember it's not a trigger so we'll make it a trigger that's one thing because we created the box slider again I remember shoot him again and perfect so now we have the option to get four more money and as soon as we implement our he's not moving move oh look the cape's staying there this time that's so weird but and give us our money thank you so we've now got the option of four more money but when we add our spawning AI it'll spawn mm, loads and every time we kill them uh, we will be able to get more money because a new one will spawn quite far away so it'll work perfect so what we're going to do is now make it randomize where it'll spawn so in here I'm going to type var x random for an x random number and we'll choose hmm oh yeah um, it's up here we can just copy this I had to think what we're doing then x random equals random range 0 to so x, x we'll say 5 0 to 5 so it may spawn bang on the character it may spawn outside so chosen number we will choose um, chosen x equals x random duplicate this again and we'll call it y and y in fact it's a z not y z z so 5 5 so it'll spawn either way and what we'll do is here we'll type hmm we'll create a new vector 3 see if that works so we'll type var coin pos vector 3 equals new vector 3 and then in here we'll type x chosen x for the x axis for the y axis we'll say transform.position.y so it follows the character and then chosen Z however if we were to do that it would spawn it at zero which is our current coin well our character is that so it would spawn it far far away and it won't work so instead of coin of um, chosen X we'll type transform.position.x plus chosen X and then we'll do the same for the Z axis but instead of x we'll choose z and then we'll put coin pass where it says transform position so hopefully that should randomly spawn um, a coin at different places every time we get it does it like it? yep so let's try it so it should either add a 0 or a 5 and it will spawn it in random places so that wasn't bang on the character let's try this one there we go so now it's spawning in random places and I can't collect this coin there we go there we go so now it's spawning in random locations around the character perfect now all what's left is to randomly choose what number we're going to have so we'll create another random one called coin random and chosen coin equals x coin 
coin random. There we go. We'll call this. Yep. So what this will do is we'll set it to ten. So it'll randomise between spawning zero coins or ten coins. So one, two, three, four, all of it. And what we're going to do is our spawn code here. Not that one. This one here. We're going to type for var i equals zero. I is less than coin random. No, chosen coin. That's it. I plus plus. So for basically we're creating a for loop, and if chosen coin say equals two, it'll run this for loop twice, spawning it. But we need to make it spawn random location. So what we're going to do is cut this line and paste it in here. We've got no semicolon. So it'll come down, spawn it. Um, that needs to be above that. There. So it'll come down, get a new location and spawn it. However, it'll stick to the same location, so we'll have five coins in the exact same place, which is not what we want. Instead, we're going to copy the X. That won't work. The Z random and Z. Shows the Z. You'll cut these and paste it in here. So every time it runs this for loop, it'll choose a random number, so say 2, and it'll run this twice, 1, 2, and each time it'll generate a new random number, add it to the vector 3, and then spawn it. So if you don't understand that, um, go back and visit other random tutorials, or the la latest one, Randomized Death, that'll explain it in better detail, but it's just basically creating a load of random numbers and adding it to it, so it's looks different. Enemies collisions 80. Boom. Semicolon again, I swear down I put that there. Let's play again and click play. There's a local variable named i which is there. So we'll change i to x. Boom. There we go. You could just set numbers so it spawns at 2, 3, 5, but then it won't look as good. This time it's going to look like poof, and it'll just spawn random ones. So, boom. Oh, that one gave us a big payout. And I'm not going to bother collecting all them, even though I really, really want to. Not such a... Actually, that's quite a big payout. And again. Oh, that's a terrible payout. That guy sucks. Boom, there we go. Perfect. So what we can eventually do is on our entity um, starts we can like say between zero for the random range here zero and say civilians do ten but yet um, I don't know m millionaires do a hundred or something so you get loads and yes just so you can see what a hundred looks like so I am tempted to see two this is going to go crazy but it shouldn't like it hopefully. Right, let's shoot you. You were the richest one. Boom. There we go. Doesn't that just sound awesome? Yep, look, so we have 700. Jesus. I didn't think we'd get that much. What's he give us? Oh, wow. Well, yeah, you can definitely get some coins up with that one. So I'm going to turn it back to 10 just so it's not unfair. So, enemy collisions, spawning random code. Really, really simple. Not as quick as I'd have liked it to be, but it works. So we'll just kill this woman. Give us money. Ten. Thank you very much. Works perfect. And see you next time.